Money in box. Woman picking dead the street, they hug. Still, them talk say, make we not talk. But thank God say, my ego don't come. So my people make you laugh. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My people make you shout. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego don't come. Oh, yeah, yeah. My ego come, man of the masses. Day of in mind. Aha. Now you wanna don't hear you. all these bad bad politicians that we call themselves politicians. When they thief our money, when no one to make the common man get what he's supposed to get for this country. Hello there. So they are trying something uh, different uh, tonight, a uh, different uh, software. So if you are watching me on Facebook, if you are watching me on YouTube, wherever you are watching from, just let me know if the if the video is good and if uh, the audio is also coming out well. I'll read the comments. Meanwhile, share the broadcast. Invite your friends and tell them, Mayegun today. <laughs> Is the sound perfect? Can you confirm if you are watching on Facebook or YouTube or wherever you right now? Just for this next five minutes, I'm going to be trying to be sure uh, that everything is perfect before we get fully into it. Let me know if you can hear me loud and clear. Aniye sunraki, aye kuti de, 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 aye kuti de,
Aye to see or tell you as soon as I have to see I yet so like Lori Facebook I am yet so like Lori YouTube I am yet so like Share the broadcast, invite your friends, invite not your so friendly friends and tell them that Mayegun is here. We are about to start. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Although what we are about to discuss here tonight is not uh, a laughing matter, but sometimes when the situation has gone so bad beyond crying when you laugh it's not actually because you are happy about it no because that's the only thing you could offer after tearing up as much as uh, you would uh, probably it will take you nigeria is bleeding and is bleeding terribly bad the victims of this bleeding are also those who are also angling to retain and maintain the status quo for their either for their own selfish gain or mostly the ignorance of uh, what Nigeria is. I was uh, checking the media earlier in my usual way, yeah? Then uh, I got this. I'll share something with you. It's a terrorist leader, yeah? declared wanted by the Nigerian uh, by the Nigerian police because uh, he happened to be one of the repentant bandits as they call them but you know terrorists don't really repent it's just because of uh, those who are supposed to know better but chose right to uh, in their way mm, uh, 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 patch the criminality themselves however this uh, terrorist, his name is uh, Ado Aleru. Now, Ado Aleru, yeah, is just one among many, many other terrorist leaders who are also linked to the political class. Now, this happened in Zamfara. A former terrorist, or should I say a terrorist leader. Now, the story of Zamfara is kind of uh, a, a unique one, right? In a way. Zamfara is part of Nigeria, but it is not part of Nigeria, not fully. Zamfara is the first place where terrorists, or these bandits, Boko Haram, and the rest of them, where they first took territories that Nigeria ceded to them. You know, people from that part of uh, Nigeria, they came under massive, never seen before attacks on, I mean, uh, from this uh, terrorist. But rather than the government to clamp on them or clamp down on them, the government of Zamfara honed them. How? They decided to compensate them by asking them to come and lay down their arms. This cost uh, Zamfara over 4 billion naira in a space of uh, just seven months. Rather than for terrorism to now slow down in Zamfara, it escalated. How? Many, many communities are now being controlled by terrorists. Not just now, anyway. They've been controlling those areas now for the past three years, at least, verified. Now, the police, the military, the, you know, they don't go there anymore. They don't go to some communities anymore. This same thing that is happening in Zamfara is happening in Niger, is happening in Shokoto, is happening in Kaduna, is happening in Yobi, is happening in uh, even Taraba. Now, come to Benue. Now, what were they doing? That of Zamfara and Niger, what are they doing? They, the communities have been completely abandoned by Nigeria authorities. Now, the communities have to, like, uh, cough out uh, taxes every month to pay to these terrorists who now provide 
security for them from themselves. Now, that's the reality. But that is not the picture in Nigeria. The picture is these are just disgruntled people. And the fact that they are willing to lay down their arms, then they should be forgiven. So they are given money. Some of them were given cars. They were driving all around communities that they once ravaged, destroyed. They call them repentance. Now, and that is the real picture, yeah? Then in one of the days, the government of uh, Zamfara, yeah, they now declared, they declared one of the leaders of the terrorists there wanted. Wait, till, like I said, I am just new to this. Yeah, I'm going to go and bring uh, this uh, picture up. Just a moment. Now, what have they done? They crowned him. And it's actually a condition that for them to continue to enjoy security under this uh, terrorist in Nigeria, then the people, uh, you know, the, the people of that community to feel further safe, they decided to huku make him a Sakin Fulani. Sakin Fulani is the Seriki Fulani. I think I found uh, what, I, what I'm looking for. Yeah, look at it. One sec. Right. Now, uh, the police in Zamfara, they once, they once said declare him wanted. That if you see him, oh, Adamu, Alero, Ado, Alero. If you see him anywhere, is wanted. Then, from the blues, he's not really wanted in the real context of it, okay? Just to make uh, a bit of, uh, you know, uh, not that we are not doing our job. Don't teach us our job. That kind of a thing. I'm talking about terrorists that are mingling with senior government officials in public. I'm talking about senior government officials, including state governors. Yeah, and you will see the DSS, the police, every other security officials. They are there where the wanted terrorists is also standing with their governor, and they won't do anything. That is the situation. That's one of the reasons why Nigeria continues to tear apart because it's so obvious, right? That the crimes of the Fulani terrorists in Nigeria have always been forgiven, like untouchable. Now they declared them wanted, like you've seen in this picture. Wanted. Sorry. Oh. Then he re resurfaced. We are journalists, even policemen behind him. Can you see the policeman behind him? That's a police officer where he is being turban as a, you know what I mean? As a sacking Fulani of that community. Let me, let me see if I can find the story and read that to you. Just a quick one. Now, as they, as they are pampering, now when the news broke out, like, Omo, wait till, is this not the terrorists that they, they declared uh, they declared they wanted in Zamfara? He's a chief now. Ha! Of course they are. Some people are just feigning surprise. I'm so surprised. No, 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 no. Many people are not really surprised. But then in, in their usual way, they reacted. Oh, no, he's still wanted. He's not wanted. He's walking public. The police knows where he is. Every one of them knows where they are. On the other hand, yeah, while they are trying to to, 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 to wave this away, yeah, in uh, emo states. Mm -hmm. This time around, the sad day witnessed in uh, our mama today in emo states was not done by the Fulani jihadists in the army, not done by the police or the military or anybody. This time around, it was done by the supposed Southeast security. That is said, uh, the Southeast uh, Ebu Beagu. Ebu Beagu that should be providing security. Most importantly, preventing, especially what happened in Enugu yesterday or so, where 15 people were kidnapped by Fulani terrorists. Yes, in Enugu. Ebu Beagu was busy following the same workbook of the Nigeria murderous uh, military sent to the eastern Nigeria. You know what they did? They shot and killed armless, uh, fought 14 armless uh, young people in a single day. They killed them. They abandoned their body on the road, right? And they left. Ebu Beagu, 
I'll show you the reactions from that from the, from I mean from that part. Uh, a, a, let me see if I can get that up. Like I said, I'm still working around the whole thing. I'll get to it at some point, I believe. Now check. Uh, though I won't be able to show you the graphic uh, pictures or videos of uh, these lifeless bodies, people killed by Abu Bagu, right? I can show you a little bit of a glimpse into it. So take a look. Oh, Mozambique of Harmony, who goes on the map and the Ebubago people. This Ebubago must end. We will put stop to this Ebubago. They are doing a very big harm in our mama, or east or west as a whole. Killing our youth for no reason. Why? Killing our youth for no reason. Ogu Mozambique is the commander. Ogu, Ogu Mozambique is the commander of uh, Ebu Bagu, killing his brothers and sisters for no reason. Why? Why? A bandit from uh, from uh, Mozambique, a terror. Somebody that they have marked a terrorist in uh, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, Mozambique. Come back here and uh, collect a Ebu Bagu commander. <laughs> That's the sorry state of uh, Nigeria. Innocent people. These uh, young men were coming back from a traditional wedding. And from nowhere, they opened fire on them. In Imo states. And this is just an example. You see, when they talk about uh, the sponsored killings, the time of uh, unknown gunmen and all those... Uh, other criminal gangs that they put together in eastern nigeria right this is the this is what the saints always look like including when their military goes there right the entire community they need to leave a statement they need to leave a fear and then you begin to ask yourselves that uh, it is either people have gone so mad or there is this uh, terrible script that they are forcing, they want to force us all to be part of uh, the actors that will actually act this old madness out. Because take a look at this. Nothing shocks many people much any longer, but there are certain things that will begin to tell you that if you have to take time to, to think uh, personally deeper, like, uh, wait till, wait till, what is really going on? You have seen terrorists who have the freest of the freest hands in Nigeria. They go about, they kill, right? And then uh, if they ever get caught, wherever they are locked uh, in, if they ever get locked up at all, right? There are people can walk in anytime and just uh, get them freed. Yeah. And nothing will happen. Nobody will lose their job. And then it's just going to be like, uh, as usual, election is coming now. Unknown gunmen in Eastern Nigeria suddenly reduce i don't know if you have paid attention to that the only the only terror that is now rampaging the, the eastern nigeria are those that are well coordinated right where people are slaughtered killed needlessly for no just reason right and if none i mean if, if sorry if uh, if they ever come under probe any time they can easily just change it and say oh they are they are IPOB or non government who were fighting them. The chaos they intentionally created and the end goal of what or why they had started what they have started is giving the impression, just one single one, right? That is either we, I mean, is either those who are clinging on to this one like Nigeria are so delusioned so badly or those of us who are currently like uh, thinking so deeper enough to sense the danger and to scream it out all the time, maybe we are just paranoid. Now, it could be either of the two, but there's also one truth here. There are people who are being killed and those killing them are always getting away with it. Now, states, I mean, sorry, the government of Nigeria who intentionally Oh, man, intentionally empowered terrorists enough that even the security agents in Nigeria, rather than let them do their job, which is expected of which well, was expected of them, 
right? They have chosen to what? To monetize your problem. Even though you are all gathering up today, ganging up and getting ready to, uh, you know, to, 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 to participate in a charade that uh, if you are paying attention, if you won't call it a paranoia, yeah? The government of Nigeria, that gen, I mean, that intentionally, right, funding, I'll call it funding the restlessness, the insecurity, the killings as they are, and then the terrorism itself, where terrorists can be crowned, you know, emirs, kings, and all of that. And in order to further placate them, even if they pretend that... Uh, now, let's even like take it one after the other. That a terrorist could come out, a wanted terrorist could come out and become, uh, what do you call that? And become uh, a, a Sarkin, that is a, the leader of the Fulanese in that uh, area. Now, one thing is that, uh, as we have been told, it could only happen in a Christian community there. Now, you have a government in Nigeria that chose. And including the security agent here, yeah? they choose to always uh, look the other way, right? And on the other hand, they are pushing and pushing to make somebody like uh, this terrorist your next uh, neighbor with their water resources bill. As much of you are feeling like, uh, you know, you're coming to save a Nigeria, a polarized one and uh, a divided one that uh, is intentionally placed as it is, yeah? So they have what is called the water resources bill. They push it the first time. It didn't push. Somehow, somehow, the media noise and all of that made them uh, step it down a while. Right? Now, when, when you sit or when you go to bed tonight, okay, and you want to, you, 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 you think about uh, what Nigeria is or what you understand about uh, Nigeria, okay, and then you go to bed tonight and feel like, uh, why is this so hard? to get this whole thing uh, resolved. Why? What is really wrong? Now, I'm going to give you an idea of the answer, and then you'll get to know why. Some of us feel like uh, it's done this way deliberately, and there is an end goal towards it. If nothing is done, we are all doomed for it. Okay? Now, a government that knows that uh, harmed terrorists were brought in in 2015 because of election. Okay? Now, these armed terrorists have gained enough ground that... Uh, they are not living again. Others have been invited to join them. They are all welcome. How do you accommodate them, right? They need land. They need space. If it's about land, to start with, if it's about land, the northern Nigeria is the biggest part of Nigeria. In fact, eh, in land mass, northern part of Nigeria controls over 70% of the land mass in Nigeria. The biggest, right? But it is not about eh, the land in the north. It is uh, the complete takeover, subjugation of the rest of Nigeria, and due by I mean with the use of uh, harm, force, terrorism, and religion. Right now, they brought them in. That's a security lapse. Yeah, that's something that everyone should be worried about. A government should be worried and fear. I mean, and worried for the safety and security of our own citizens. Right, but that is not Nigeria because it is. I mean, it's kind of uh, intentional, rather than them. To uh, you know, to 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 arm their own uh, defense enough to protect and defend their own borders against these invaders, right? No, there's no plan for that. In fact, yeah, they are to shut the southern border of Nigeria to economically wreck it, and then they left the northern border of Nigeria horrorously open, unguided, and everyone could walk in and walk out anytime, as it's always been, right? Now, you are a country under attack of terrorism, religious terrorists in northern part of Nigeria, not east. Now, these guys, get, they gain access in. They told these guys to come in. Come in. Come on. Come on in. You're so welcome. Nigeria is yours. Everywhere in Nigeria is yours. By law, if you walk in and you claim to be a Nigerian, nobody can stop you from going anywhere. Okay? This is your land. Come here. Remember, northern Nigeria holds the largest land, part, um, land mass of uh, Nigeria as it is. Yeah? But they didn't stop there. The same government didn't, okay? The same, the same government didn't stop them. They were welcome, bringing all those weapons in, doing those transborder, you know what I mean? Using the excuse of, uh, oh, it's the Boko Haram stuff there. Now, 
when the Fulani terrorists started killing people in Yoruba land, started killing people in Igbo land, and people started raising alarm. They said, oh, oh okay, 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 okay. The best thing to resolve it is this, right? Um, to stop all these things, so that all these killings, all these fights. At first, they started reporting it as uh, farmers and others clashes. Farmers and others clashes. Farmers are, how could you say farmers and others are, cla I mean, are clashing and only the farmers are dying and their farms had been destroyed? We couldn't find the others that they fought or clashed with. What the hell is going on? Then that was way back seven or six years ago, by the way, right? Now, the same government that brought, the, brought them in, they started the, 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 the process of uh, gagging everyone, shutting everyone up, sending everyone to jail. Whoever says anything about this, you must be shut up. Now, they started throwing in the card of, uh, uh, you know what? Don't say Fulani uh, ads men. Don't say Fulani terrorists. Uh, don't say that. If you say that, you are trying to divide Nigeria. Meanwhile, by, uh, with, with all of this going on, there are lawmakers from Northern Nigeria. They are busy putting together laws or bills that will stop Nigerians from talking about uh, this invading terrorist, right? That will stop uh, media houses from reporting them. And on and on and on like that, including penalties for those who violate those uh, cautions. They are setting laws. They are putting laws in place. The final one, eh? they are starting up what they call the water, waterway, I mean, water bill. Uh, I'm sorry, waterway bill. Now, waterway bill is also another way. Meanwhile, before then, before these rogues came in, Nigeria was dealing with uh, Boko Haram terrorists, remember? It was the Boko Haram terrorists at, uh, from Borono and all of that. The founder and the sympathizer of the Boko Haram terrorists in Nigeria in Borono State is about to be your number two man in Nigeria, Orimi Kok. God forbid bad thing in my life. Eh? So keep claiming Nigeria won Nigeria, by the way. It was Boko Haram, but today, I've told you many times, you now have more than Boko Haram. Abi? Uh, hey, because instead of those who are supposed to keep you safe, protect you, protect your lives, you know, enough, right? Instead of them to do their jobs, they have now monetized your own uh, problems. The best is for you to help them. Uh, let them sink this ship. Jump out of it and save your lives. Break it up and save your lives, right? Now, let's continue. They started putting laws. They started putting things in place to make people get used to the new arrivals, this new reality. What is waterway bill? Waterway bill is to allow Nigeria, okay, to take over all of the waterways in Nigeria. When we say waterways, wherever you see water, it will become the property of Nigeria. In your hometown, in your village, in that your city, every water you see there, it will be owned by them. Not just that. They are not owning them for the sake of any development. Too. No, 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 no. There is no policy to do anything with the waterway. No, 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 no. The process is to take over the waterways and take 10 miles. That is about 15 kilometers of land. How far is Mowe? How far is Mowe to Bega? Mowe, Lagos Ibado Expressway. Mowe to Bega. How far is it? Is it up to 15 kilometers or more? I don't know. Maybe Ibafu. Ibafu. Before redeem, if you are coming from Bega. Shall I calculate that kilometers of... Eh? That is how far they will have to tell everyone who has landed properties close to that waterways. 10 kilo, 15 kilometers from the waterways will be owned by the government of Nigeria and it is to re be redistributed. Are you listening? It is to be redistributed to the invading terrorists. So Lagos, they are already there. They are just waiting for the command. Uh, Yoruba land, Igbo, everywhere, they are already there. So if you dare talk about it the way I'm talking about it now, if you dare go out there and say it the way I'm saying it right now, in Nigeria, you are considered an enemy. Even the spokesperson to the president of Nigeria, Femi Oponu Adeshino, came out and said, what is land? What is what is what is big deal about land? Eh? Your life or your land? 
Why is everybody so fixated about land? The land you are not even using. Eh? The land that are just there. Why are you so, so, what is wrong with you? Just give them the land. They need to feed their, I mean, they, they need to, 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 you know, to water their cows. They need to give their ass their water and all of that. Many of you are not even using it, but some of you are clapping for them. And you have no idea. It is not possible. It is not possible. That is how it became a thing. Oh, Ruga came. Ruga grazing area, they called it. They used Oyibo. Pastor Ruga, fake Pastor Ruga that started it. The committee that, that brought the idea. How do we stop terrorism? That was the question. They brought the terrorism, escalated it, monetized it. Then they now said, how do we stop this terrorism? They said, okay, what is the cause for the terrorism? They said it is because of climate change. I'm still coming back to this uh, Aduale Ruo. I am speaking to some of you holding that uh, burning one Nigeria ignorantly or selfishly. I'm trying to make you understand that uh, what you are going to end up as is already being staged. So when you wake up tomorrow morning and it happened, don't pretend that uh, you are surprised, okay? As they just crowned Abdo Aleru for security reasons in Zamfara, eh? one day. The, the, the Nigeria, whether they carry you, they go, they carry you, they go. Where is the APC? And the one Nigeria is, they carry you, they go, they carry you, they go. Eh? One day, you are going to have your own Ado Aleru for security reason. Eh? In Ekwe, you are going to have your own Ado Aleru. Sakin Fulani for security reason. In Ijebu, you're going to have them right there. In everywhere, they will say for security reason. And you will have no choice. Now, they are taking you there by, you know, gradually. They started, you know, they started all manner of propaganda then. Threats. Why people are dying every now and then when people get killed on their own farms or on their way to the farms and all of that. They said it is farmers others clashes. How come? How can farmers and others clash and only farmers they die again? Then they just jumped. I mean, they just introduced another one. Ransom payments. Okay. Boku Aram were those who were collecting ransom. Niger Delta militant, Avengers and the rest, they are those who were collecting ransoms, right? How come the people that they told us were looking for land, the people they told us that uh, the reason why they were fighting with uh, people in the southern Nigeria was because they had no place to, 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 I mean, for their cows to drink water. What is going on? How come the people they say are from northern Nigeria are speaking French in Ekiti, speaking French in Undo? How, what is going on? Then uh, it became obvious that... Uh, it wasn't about uh, it wasn't about accommodating your 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 killers, just accommodating them. It is about uh, the jihadi Nigeria that they have dreamt of for so long, right? So the terrorists they now said, what we need is uh, I with uh, you know your land or your life. You should choose one. Now that stage with day, and today. That Ruga they introduced that the southern Nigeria rejected. Eh? We have seen uh, Imo state governor accepted it. Ebonyi state governor accepted it. Gave them land. And that is also causing Wahala. It's one of the reasons why they will tag every young person in Igbo land, unknown gunman, just to kill them, spread the fear, and get them to back down from asking for Biafra. Because those who are supposed to defend Igbo land, those who claim to be the Igbo leaders, they have also mortgaged the place. Same thing we are wit witnessing in Yoruba land. The only difference is this, right? We are yet to see a Yoruba governor that agree to agreed to give them any land. But you know one thing? The policy may not be so popular in the South, but guess what? They have already, they have started, I mean, they've started giving them lands, thousands of hectares of land in Northern Nigeria just to placate terrorists. That's where I'm going. With money, and since they say it is your National Assembly that can pass a bill, I'll give you another instance. The people, uh, I can't remember this community again, and if you do, you can remind us, please. The people of, uh, there's, a, there's this community in uh, Imo State. Oh, who's your danger? Eh? Designated part of their community for Ruga to give to the, uh, to the full and nearest settlers. Right? So the communities heard about it and they started protesting. The media went there, they recorded them. Ah, you know, you know, 
They said we are protesting because we don't want to give our land to Ruga. We don't want problem. We don't, you know what I mean? Baba, a week after that, the Nigerian military visited that community. I know people who know this story. They are watching me right now. Help me with that. The name. If you do remember the name. They went there. They accused them of aborting unknown gunmen. And they shot women, children in their sleep, in their houses. Yeah? Nigerian military. They burned their properties. They shot uh, Amoku or something. I can't remember the name. Uguta, I think. Somebody just, oh, sorry. No, Uguta. Izombe. The communities are just like, uh, they, they, they line, uh, they are like one after the other in Imo State. Izombe, God bless you, my brothers. You know, the people here that they want to, they have allocated their land, their farmlands everywhere for Ruga. Oh, Puzo Dijo collected $150 million for it. Now, I didn't make this up. I keep saying it. If I tell you something and you doubt it, you can just go out there and check. I mean, use that Google. You are going to see a credible source that will confirm it to you. Oh, Puzo Dijo collected. The same thing with uh, Ebony Governor. And mind you, you know who said that? It was Garbage Shew that said the governors have been, you know, they have been paid and all of that. And uh, uh, Devuluma Yi from Ebony wanted to deny it that he collected a 10.2 billion naira for Ruga to allocate lands for Ruga in his own state. Now, you see this one in, in, in Imo state, yeah? It's Zombe. The people heard it. They've seen that they've put, they've demarcated the land and they said the state government is taking the land. And they said, no, 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 don't take our land. Oh. They protested. Women, children, they blocked the road to their, to their town. You know, normal, normal protest. Nothing happened that day. Nothing happened day after, the day after that, and the day after that. A week after that, the Nigeria military, battle ready, war ready, right? They went into this community, eh? And they started the shooting and shooting and killing and killing. They started burning all their properties. Guess what? The media, unknown gunmen, Nigeria military crush, Nigerian soldiers crush unknown gunmen in a zombie. That's the, that's the headline. I have the video too. All. And you see the way I'm saying it right now is considered as a being too raw about it. I should be more politically correct about it so that uh, I don't get some people offended. Do you get that now? Like you, you just have to wait and die. Don't say it the way it is because if you say Fulani or if you say uh, this, uh, you, are, you, are, you, are, you are trying to, you are, you are making it look like people should hate Fulani. That's what they will change it to. They will ignore all I have just told you now because it is so obvious that the agenda of the government of Nigeria mm, is no other one than to subjugate other ethnic nationalities in Nigeria, take their lands, not for development, but for the resettlement, and uh, resettlement of a repentant terrorist, so that uh, one day, as you are already witnessing in Lagos, Abi, are you not witnessing Seriki, this, Seriki, that already? Uh -huh. The difference now is this. Now, those, those Seriki ones you are seeing, they will be the home base. You see the new lands, the new towns they are going to create and gazette for them and all those areas, yeah? They will have their Ado Aleru. They will give you all other uh, repentant terrorists. And that's it. That's us done for. But you know one thing is this. One of the reasons why people said, these guys are not thinking. It is either they are not thinking or they are just deliberately kind of a stupid. Because put it this way, yeah? Nobody, nobody is going to take over anybody's place, especially your own ancestral land in any part of, uh, uh, you know, Euro, especially in Yoruba land, not to talk of uh, the, the, you know, the Biafra land. Nobody is going to forcefully take your land and then uh, give that land to 
uh, some resettler and then say it is for the unity and peace of Nigeria. So it simply means, you see these people, even those of you, I know some of you are already tired of them. You believe that uh, you had the chance of getting rid of them or kicking them out as you are planning and all of that through your voter's card. Go and get your PVC. Go and get your PVC that all of you are saying, Abby. You believe you could chase them out, right? Good luck, by the way, right? However, with this level, with these guys, mm, you and me can agree that even when they say they love Nigeria, with what I have told you so far, with the future you are seeing ahead of you, when they manage to force and arm twist everyone, as Tifnumbu said, is going to continue from where Bokwari is going to stop, right? Now, eventually, if you have to have uh, to live with uh, Adua Leru in your own different uh, communities, many, many of you, this, uh, you know, have to be relocated from so many of your own lands right now because when the law comes on, right, as it is Nigeria, tell me how that is going to then bring peace. Tell me. So they don't have, they, they are not even for peace themselves. All of their actions is not for unity. It is about the unitary style of a governance, which is pretty much the lies they've told us this long. Abby? So I have seen that, like I said, it is either those of us who can think deeper and seen things uh, through enough that uh, most of what we've seen, what we saw, have come to pass, and we are currently screaming even further that none of this action of theirs, right, is going to bring unity to Nigeria. Not now, not tomorrow, not in the future. It's never going to happen when you read them very well. You can speak for them and say you want a great country, you want this or that, when they are conjuring a, a, a sort of a slave camp there are so many of you would have to like uh, run away from at the end of the day right so is that that we are paranoid or you are just ignorant or selfish because you do know to but you just don't give a damn a place where government uh, kill our own citizens without any kind of uh, remorse i wish uh, i wish i understand uh, it go very well and listen to what uh, this uh, woman is saying. Same thing from the killings that happened in Nemo. Ogu Mozambique of America. Ogu Mozambique. Sec, like, you know, I told you, I kind of, uh, I kind of uh, still struggle with this uh, new feature and all of that. So bear with me. Just a moment. I, I, you know, I want to share this woman's uh, statement. Let's see. Okay. I think, uh, yeah. That's the... Well, I don't think that is going to really play for us. But let's try again. <laughs> Is that what we're going to do? 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 Is that what we're do? Is that what we're going to 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 do? Is that what And I think that's exactly what I said as well, right? Young men, 14 young men coming back from a traditional from traditional marriage ceremony. And they just they just got killed like that. They're, you know, if I show you other other videos, right? Honestly, I'm going to probably just make your night bad. But then we'll have our own uh, pages and channels shut down, possibly. Innocent people. Just like that. For what? To prove what? And there will be no one. They'll be held responsible. No one. So this is where the one Nigeria is. Right? Meanwhile, I was, uh, you know, uh, just a few days ago or so, we were still talking about uh, the Oshun election, and then uh, it's still not over so far. Because uh, then this guy came uh, into the picture. Um, hang on, I'll share that now. 
And then he came out and he said that uh, he is the founder of the terror group that terrorized people during the lockdown. And I said, he don't jam talk. Oh. Hear this. Again, it's not working. So give me a sec. So I'm talking about, uh, you know, portable. The same guy that went uh, to uh, Oshun sat on the statue of uh, Shifa Bafemi Awolowo. I don't know how many of you who saw that. Hmm? Right. Mm. I decided to share part of that too tonight. So what I'm going to do next is that uh, I am going to take a short uh, break. Bear with me. I uh, could have called this uh, a test uh, broadcast, but I'm still going to kind of uh, take a few calls just before I go uh, tonight. So if you are still here watching, uh, thank you. I hope it gets better the next time anyway. So uh, give me a sec. So when I get back, I will take some few calls and you can be part of that. But I think uh, before I even go, there is also this message from, uh, you know, from this uh, pastor. It has to do with the election. And guess what? Eh? Like I told you the last time, yeah, they've managed to kind of uh, shape it into your into religious uh, uh, kind of, uh, you know, fight. As, may, as, much as, I mean, as much as many of you would probably not want it uh, that way, it is what it is. Now, this one is from uh, this pastor, Mrs. What's her name again? Sarah Omaku or so, a message from Khan. Then I'll take a break. Then I'll come back and take a few calls and we'll call it a night afterward. So, so Khan, Khan sent, sent me to you, the Christian, Christian Association, Association of Nigeria. Nigeria. And, and they, they said, said I should say this to, this to you. And we're going, and to, we're going to have it on our platforms and, 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 and um, on our, on our platforms. platforms. And, um, and um, I think I'm, I think going, I'm going to read, read it. And, and, and this one, one because, because it is a message, it is a from, message Khan. from Khan, I'm just going to read, it, going to read it and we'll put it on our platform, platform so, that so that everybody will hear what can, what can set, set for, for us to tell, tell the body, the body of, Christ. of Christ. 2023 general, general elections, elections who to vote, who for, to vote for, produced by, produced the, political by the political and strategy, and strategy committee of Christian, of Christian Association of Nigeria. Of Nigeria. It is, it is character, character, competence, competence capacity, capacity, and policies. policies. Character, competence, Capacity, capacity and, policies. and policies. So after so we, after we, of course, of course after, after praying, praying, we should be able to direct you. Character, character. the person the must fear God. God. Honesty, Honesty and, truthfulness. and truthfulness. Respect, Respect for, the for the rule of, rule law. of law. Justice, Justice and fairness, fairness for all. Fairness for all. Respect for religious, Respect for religious and, and ethnic diversity. diversity. Compassion, Compassion and, discipline. and discipline. Clean, Clean and, and credible. credible. Clean, Clean and credible, and credible lifestyle. lifestyle. No membership, no membership of cults, no involvement, no involvement in, drugs in drugs and witchcraft. And witchcraft. No, fanaticism. no fanaticism, no relationship to Boko or with Boko, Boko, Haram, with Boko Haram or other violent religious groups. This is the, this, this this is the, is the person, person we are voting for, for, the, for the, kind the kind of person we are voting, we are voting for. for. So this will be his character. Competence, Competence. Quality, quality, quality performance, performance in previous in positions. Previous positions. Good education, Good education sufficient, sufficient to manage, to manage a, complex a complex society. society. Effective management Effective of human, management and, natural of human and natural resources. Capacity. capacity. The person the must have the ability to envision transformation. Ability to communicate the vision to diverse, to diverse peoples. peoples. Ability to effectively execute the vision of transformation. transformation. Must be in good health, sound mind, and physical fitness and for the job. For the job. Policies. State. You know what? You know. You know. You know what some people said. They are like. Uh, they should just say. They can't say they shouldn't vote for Tifnumbu. If not, why would they be asking for all of these cons? Eh? So I, I'm going to take my break in a moment. Okay. But well, before then, let's see. I have uh, someone on the line, but she just have to wait a moment. But let me take the call and hold on to it until I come back. So, uh, hello, can you hear me? 
Hello. Is that Princess Abby? Yes. Yes. Princess, I, I am about to go on a break. I'm going to put you on hold for just a minute or two. You please uh, hang What's on for problem? me when I come back. Or would you call back? I'll be here. No, I'll wait be wait here. On. Thank you very much. So, yeah, I will. Uh, yeah. yeah. So everyone that's still watching, I'm going to say that. Uh, yeah, you can uh, still share and like uh, the broadcast uh, tonight until uh you know we start taking calls and you too can be part of it by you know calling it the number is on the screen i believe uh yeah it's scrolling on your screen and it is whatsapp call only okay for the sake of those who are trying it for the first time don't try direct call you will never get through right so i am going to take a break and i will be back in a minute don't go anywhere uh hang on i think uh i need to pull it up first before it's uh, a break so uh one moment Aye gun la wa mo la mo do 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 Aye gun da ya ri Aye gun la wa Aye gun la wa mo la mo do 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 Yeah. 